Bum. Bum. Ba -da -da. Hey. I'm the lightning chair. <laughs> okay, that's enough screwing around. Right, right into it. Okay, yeah. Factorio. Yeah. Balto. Get your butt out of me face, mate. Nobody wants to see that. Factorio. Thingies. Okay, yeah. Um. Hang on. Research. Like, here's the thing. And pay no attention to the really poor quality of this. This is for informational purpose. <laughs> um. <clears throat> lab research. Mining productivity. Where's lasers? Uh, stack inserter bonus robotics. Electric energy distribution. Okay, it gives you medium and big electric poles. <laughs> electric energy distribution two gives you <laughs> substations. Excuse me. <clears throat> Is that just a dead end research? And I don't mean like dead end as in it goes nowhere. I mean, is that is that an end to it right there? Because I can think of a way to go even further. Okay, lasers. Okay, this this doesn't have any effects up here. Um, yeah, where was that? Hey, Balto. Yeah, this ends right here. It gives the effect of substations. Okay. Um, to the devs making Factorio, um, yeah, like I said, please ignore the low quality of my video here. I want to convey an idea. Wireless power transmission. Using, uh, what, directed beam energy device lasers and, um, having the prerequisite of electric energy distribution one or two like this is something like mid to end game that I'm thinking so electric energy distribution one or two and laser so wireless or directed energy transmission that way you can make a wireless energy grid and uh, excuse me Balto the thing is I want to get rid of the need for uh, all these electric poles so the thing is we want coverage I know everyone wants coverage for the energy distribution but we don't want to have to place a physical object either that or underground conduits which don't affect anything except for the coverage area. Actually, I think you could use both. Use uh, underground conduits uh, mid, early mid game, and then go to wireless energy transmission, and go to um, as far as your inventory is concerned. Like, um, yeah, that that's that's not a good thing there. Hang on for just a second. What I'm thinking is... Revamp all of the, uh, the models to where you put them all through an, an upgrade, basically. Like, you, you take the, um, not the, the in-game models, the, um, all the items that use electricity like uh, your electric mining drill you take it and you combine it with uh, whatever you want to create whatever module like you can add a, an additional module set of uh, wireless energy transmission modules and you take your your base item a good example electric mining drill and you put it into 
your assembly machine, one, two, or three, whichever you want to choose, then combine it with one of the modules, and it has a wireless signal transmission put into it. And have a beacon effect. Have the beacon effect to where it expands the radius. Yeah, you put that into it as well. So you take your your item, you take a beacon, and you take a uh, module of whatever level for wireless energy transmission, and you combine those three things together, and it makes a uh, an improved variation of it where it just wirelessly transmits energy from itself to whatever it's close to within the coverage area. I think that would be an incredible game-changing uh, mid to late uh, thing for the, the game. Um, as far as uh, messing around in like creative mode, quotation fingers there, Dr. Evil style, creative mode right okay as far as messing around in creative mode I am really glad for the infinity chests I quickly figured out how to use them it was uh, mostly self-explanatory however for the uninitiated and as far as Factorio goes and most people who are not used to the technical stuff myself previously included I'd go with really really simple terms um, okay, let me open this thing up uh, yeah the infinity filters uh, right over here have it explain exactly what this means what it does Remove unfiltered items. Yeah, that pop-up right there. Removes items from the inventory that aren't part of the filters list. That's good. Then you can go over here and select. Yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. I like this. This is this is something that I wanted, except I wanted to like click on the ore and then go into its properties. God, this is so dark. Yeah, I wanted to click on the ore, go into its properties, and make it infinite. However, I don't have to worry about putting a, uh, a thingy on the mouse to hold down the button, and then coming over here and going through this. I can just plop down an infinity chest, which... I've got in my inventory. I'll take one. Yeah, I can just put one down. Click on it. Go to the filter. Select whatever item I want. At least, keep at least this many items in the inventory. Add missing. At most, remove the extras. Exact. Add or remove as needed. And then you can move this slider around and... Oh, wow. I just figured that out. It actually fills it. That... that Oh, wow. Remove unfiltered. So... Go out of that and then go back into it. Uh, yeah, 20. I didn't say 20, like, all those stacks. Oh, yeah, I said at least. Okay, exactly. And then, it, bam, right there. This keeps it nice and organized. Then come over here. You can just throw in items. You can just throw in whole stacks of items. Just throw in whatever you want. And I'm just doing this at random. There you go. It's right there. This infinity chest, like, I just use whatever or and that's what I've got right there right here the, these infinity chests so I've got eight outputs on them this is really cool I like this 
But anyway, uh, wireless energy transmission and underground conduits. That way there's nothing physically above ground for you to run into and it allows you to place with, within the entire coverage area including the direct center which you know most power lines as far as underground conduits it eliminates the need to show the wire above ground unless you place like uh, your regular power poles like these right here hang on let me get my fingers out of the way you just place your regular power poles then you place uh, an underground conduit station and then you run underground conduit and this the station and the conduit can both be separate items that you have to craft separately yeah redundant department of redundancies is redundant today <laughs> I like this idea I've come up with I don't know if the game devs have thought about it but I like this. This is a, an interesting game-changing idea because the substations take up a uh, two-by-two two area, the power poles take up one square area, and the coverage is really limited. So if we lay an underground conduit that covers, um, you know, off, of, uh, off each side of the conduit, it covers like yay so many, and you know put in increases for it later then it changes the way we play the game with power efficiency and distribution and all that and not so much efficiency but distribution and the efficiency of the setup okay now another thing that I'd like to say as far as wireless distribution that's really cool um, what else was there? There was something else I was thinking of. It was really, really cool for me to think about that. Freaking idiot, kid. Freaking idiot. I totally forgot what I was... <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, power coverage area. Um, energy efficiency. Um, uh, all the all the stuff I've looked up online about jewel thieves and jewel ringers the the idea the premise is is really sound so I'm guessing that can be summarized as the the games um, mm, efficiency modules and oh, let me look let me look let me look this is something I've been thinking about but I haven't got far enough into like research in the game efficiency module decreases machine energy consumption okay yeah the efficiency module instead of making it a, a module where you just craft it and insert it into something make it part of the recipe to make it more energy efficient to combine it with speed and energy efficiency and, and combine the productivity to combine them all together into the base item so let's say I want to make the electric furnace you know really fast really efficient and really productive but I want the uh, I want the negative effects completely nullified so I take one of each of these three modules uh, level three combine it with a beacon combine it with the electric furnace and whatever else that the devs think is necessary to balance out the equation for maintaining all the positive effects without the negative effects and then put that into a recipe to make an even more powerful even more effective even faster furnace 
or whatever item. These ideas may change the gameplay mechanics entirely. In fact, I'm pretty sure they will for a lot of people. Great trains. So the the wireless energy transmission, the underground conduits and the uh the enhanced recipes. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm all for uh, balancing out how much resources you have to put into it to get what you want out. That's fine, because Factorio is infinitely scalable. By infinite, literally infinite. It's like Minecraft on the PC. <laughs> infinite. Which I totally need to do stuff on the PC instead of on the console. Console is so limited. Um, so, because the worlds can be infinite in Factorio, go ahead and balance out my idea with whatever you find necessary to achieve the effect that I have said I would like to see in the game. However, in keeping with everyone's pursuit of happiness, it has to be optional for everyone. It doesn't have to be forced. So for those who want to use it, yeah, let, you know, totally let them use it. For those who don't want to use it, don't force it on them. But it should be there in the game for those who want to use it. Just like the infinity chest. That is freaking amazing. That's awesome. It solves my, um, my quibble, my desire of having infinite ore without having to set, <laughs> to set something heavy on my mouse and hold down the button in map maker mode this is uh this is really cool and these ideas i've given they're pretty cool but at the same time i'm i'm curious as to what um what the devs think about my idea and how how, uh, what they think about it and if they want to use it. I honestly, I honestly think it's a really good idea. But this is just part of what I do. I just play games and I think, oh, okay, how can I exercise my agency, my free will, my creative thinking process, my inalienable right to the pursuit of happiness, how can I exercise that, that agency, in this game? And how can I expand that agency in this game? That's, that's what I do. This is the type of vlogging that, that is going to be on my YouTube channel for everyone to see. So hey, game devs, again, this is another video you're going to need to see, more specifically, for those in Factorio. Yeah. Right, okay, everybody else, everybody else, if you like this idea, give this video a nice like. Comment, leave a comment, give your own ideas, expand on my ideas if you want. And remember, when you come up with an idea, it has to be a toggleable option, or it has to be on a, a slider, like uh, like those infinity chests. It's both, actually, which is really cool. I love how that's implemented. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell thingy so you get notified. That way you know when I'm coming up with new stuff. 
visit my Patreon, support the channel today. That way I don't have to ask you tomorrow. And I, I really think that I, I shouldn't have to say all that at the end of the video. However, some people just don't even think about it because they're like, oh wow, that is, you know, just get involved in it. I used to do the same thing. So anyway, there you go. Have fun. Till next time, everyone. Bye.